everyone, today I'm going to be doing another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. And I have been loving the Forsali products recently and I thought, why not try this one? It looked beautiful. If you guys looked on Trend Mood when they would post like the beautiful videos of like the gold falling in the bottle, I was very intrigued. Yes, um, good packaging does draw me in, so good job for Sally. But um, if you guys want to know how this product works and what I think of it, uh, just keep watching and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, let's get into this video. So this product right here retails for $39. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous as I've mentioned. It has the nice rose gold flakes in it. It's a uh, gold, not gold packaging, sorry. It's glass packaging and has a beautiful mister right here. Um, I have used this already, so I'm gonna show you guys right now just kind of how this sprays. I like how I said mister, it's a spray. I would say the spray on this bottle is similar to that of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It's not that, um, the mist that the Morphe, the continuous mist of the Morphe setting spray, it's more like, bigger droplets land on your face, if that makes sense. But I wanna read to you guys on the website what they say about this product and I'll let you know my opinions. Cause I've been using this for a couple days now. I really wanted to see what I thought of this cause it is expensive. I mean, I believe this is only one, yeah, 1 1.7 ounces in retails for $39. So let's just jump on into this right now. It is described as a four-in-one wonder for all skin types infused with rose gold flakes, rose hip seed oil for hydrating alcohol-free mist. It is a lightweight liquid and it is supposed to help with dryness, dullness, and uneven skin texture, loss of firmness, and elasticity. So I'm reading off my computer down here if you're wondering why I'm looking down. Um, it's free of literally all the bad stuff, must we go over that. And it is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so what else you need to know about this product, as stated on the website, is that it is a hydrating mist, contains rose hip seed oil to nourish skin and diminish visible, visible signs of aging. 24 karat gold flakes absorb into skin, leaving a natural radiant glow. Use it as a hydrating mist, as a primer to grip makeup in place, spritz all over finished makeup, and... Take the mist on the go to refresh your skin and makeup. So I, since I'm not the biggest person, I'm not very well versed in like what is considered good and bad in skincare. Like you could tell me there's gold in here and it's gonna make me young forever. I'll be like, oh, that's cool, I want gold. Um, but I feel like it is really important to look up, I mean, when you're spending this much money on a product, to look it up because I'm not gonna just pay a ton of money for a setting spray, This, you know. That would be ridiculous. When I looked up the rose hip oil to see what it does for your skin, uh, I found that it is used to help reduce scars and fine lines. Um, it's rich in essential fatty acids and antioxidants, which are integral for tissue and cell regeneration in the skin. It's, um, it's been used, like, I guess rose hip oil has been used as a remedy back in the day for healing wounds. I'm really making this bubbly, sorry. As well as the reduction of scars and fine lines. So. That sounds great to me. I want that in my products, you know? So I use this product before and after I applied my makeup today. I also use this uh, the past couple of days. What I have noticed, I love putting this product on before I do my makeup. I think it really just hydrates my skin. I have very dry skin. We are at the end tail of winter right now and my skin is super dry. So I love oils for my face sometimes just using a lotion isn't enough. So if you have dry skin, I feel like this is amazing for you. Um, I think it makes my skin look very dewy. I think it also helps my foundations to look nice and dewy. I've used this with a full coverage foundation on a night out and my skin looked so nice. It didn't look cakey or anything like that. Um, however, I would not purchase this product if you are looking for it to be a setting spray because I hate the feeling, and I also use this as a setting spray today, because Oh, I have like an good and bad. It does make your skin look hydrated probably longer than a setting spray would. However, I just really don't like the feeling of it on top of foundation. It really feels like you sprayed like an, which you essentially did an oil on your makeup and like you feel it there. It's tacky and sticky and kind of, eh. you know what I mean? Um, 
so yeah that is where I'm at with this those ingredients I do love as as I'm getting older I'm literally 24 I love skincare I love seeing what products can do to your natural skin and make them just look more vibrant and that's what I've been noticing with this now I've only used it for a couple of days so I don't think I'm gonna see anything drastic for a little bit but if you are a person who likes skincare and you know has dry skin I feel like this is an awesome uh, spray just to have on you I feel like if on days that I don't wear makeup I would totally spray this on my skin throughout the day just to give it a nice glow and just feel like I'm doing something good for it I don't know if you guys are like me but when I've been wearing makeup for like a couple days in a row I really do start to notice uh, you know that my skin will start breaking out and all that it's just you know the nature of putting stuff and clogging your pores you know it is what it is but I really love putting something on my face before I put my foundation on that way uh, my skin is absorbing like the under layers absorbing nice good products for your skin versus you know maybe not the best ingredients that are in my foundation if you guys were wondering what this smells like it's very citrusy kind of like an orange peel smell it kind of wakes you up in the morning I love um, fresh smells when I, in the morning and um, you know it's just just not smell for the morning <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with that accent right there so my final thoughts on this are if you have dry skin and you just want something that will kind of make your skin glow and you're really into skincare then I would totally purchase this I love this I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this I think it's just a nice luxury product to have I really love for Sally I honestly don't think I have one product that I don't necessarily I that I don't like net mind you I don't love the pricing so <laughs> there's that but the products all work really well. Um, if you guys ever want me to do like a review on all the Frisali products I have, I'm totally up for doing that. Um, sometimes when you start liking a, a skincare line, you know, I want you, I don't know, I feel like I'd have a good opinion of the company itself. Also, you know, maybe I'll tell you which products I would repurchase and ones that I wouldn't. So yeah, if you guys are interested in a video like that, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's kind of short and sweet to the point. Like we like it. Who wants to be waiting around all day listening to someone just say, I like it, I don't like it, you know? But um, please remember to like and subscribe. And you can follow my Instagram. I'll leave it right here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.